What's up guys, and in this video, yes, you saw the title in the thumbnail, we're going to be getting the FJX Horus um, Zircon, Zircon Scale. You know what, I'm just going to call it Harry, because this guy, but I'll just call it Harry. Um, with the intro out of the way, let's get right into today's video. Alright, um, uh, the first thing we need to do, because, um, <clears throat> story time. Yesterday, I died due to bullshit, so I lost my main character, and lost over a hundred things, so I'm no longer spawning with 5,000 coins, so we need to go and do some quests, or contracts, shall I say, to get the money so we can go pack a punch. Uh, I think the first one we're going to do is this one over here, if that guy doesn't take it, but if that guy takes it, um... That's going to suck. And like this doesn't look like there's much in the way of contracts at the moment, uh, which is bad. There's an ether nest over there. Well, would you look at that? I'm at the f uh, contract thing. Uh, yeah, cool editing. I don't know, um, ooh, yes, medium backpack, I needed that. See, if you run around tier 2 and open up, like, chest, uh, like, just as you died, uh, you get, um, some of your stuff back. It's not the best stuff, but it's pretty good stuff to get you, keep, get you going. But, uh, I hope everyone enjoys this video. If you do, um, let me know in the comment section down below on what gun you want me to do next, and I'll do that gun. Now, I've already done all the ARs, and two of SMGs. So, yeah, that's pretty dope. Subscribe, um, like, and comment. I already said the comment part, but, you know, it takes so long to get to the destination we need to get to. We're going to ambush. No, we technically go on mountains. Um, this is a fun little road trip. Uh, on the road again. Going on places that I've never been. On the road again. I don't even know if that's how the song goes. <laughs> Uh, as you can tell about the fun with this, uh, try to at least. It would be really cool if they introduce a tier 4 in on this map. Mmm. Pain. Because you already know I'm going to have to explore it. Completed. Alright, let's see what he get. Let's see what we get. Drum roll, please. Oh, we got a freaking self-revive. And that. Okay, cool. Now we can go tier 1, do a tier 1 challenge quest. Or we can do another um, tier 2 cargo, which is over here. Let's go and do that. Cargos are the easiest to do and are the best. What the f*** was that zombie doing? I'll play a quick clip of uh, zombies defying physics real quick. I know, right? How f***ed up. That zombie was literally... Pretending to be God. Don't even joking, bro. Man was walking on air. Man was like, you doubt us zombies. You say that we're lower than you. You say we don't have a brain. Well, watch this. <laughs> oh, crazy. All right, let's go this way. I was actually pretty close for a uh, the cargo. Uh, we got to open this door and enter the car. Yes, you're able to do this. You can, you can just get, you don't have to kill the mercenaries that are in the area. You can just like drive, oh my God, what was that? You can just like drive away with their like cargo, you know, with their precious car that they still have a loan on. I imagine that someone just steals your car that you haven't paid off yet and you still have to pay off that said car. That would suck. So much. Purple zone, don't you dare. Why is the, oh my, why is the cargo on the edge of the purple zone? That is, wow. Anyways, tombstone and elemental pop. Look at that. Now we can go and get Pack-a-Punch, which is, uh, I have no idea where Pack-a-Punch is. Uh, where the hell is Pack? Oh, right here. And uh, I hope you guys like the captions. Uh, they're gonna be different color every single video, so that's cool. Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, uh, now that we've pack a punch, so let's go to an X fill. We have to kill 300 zombies to get the Zircon scale camo. Cool, right? You know, I should be actually doing like two videos a day, to be honest. But editing takes too long, so I'll be posting videos at like 1 a.m. in the morning. And I don't think you guys want that. Yes, if you like, if I stop talking for a long period of time, it's because I am drinking coffee. 
because of course I have my coffee with me and I uh, hope you guys are drinking water instead of coffee because um, water is healthy, coffee bad. Only the pro gamers are allowed to drink coffee in Mountain Dew. I'm not calling myself a pro gamer, but you know. Uh, oh my god, oh sh he touched me, he touched me. Don't touch me dog, down boy, down. Let's talk about BO6 zombies on um, what I know about BO6 zombies. Uh, so BO6 zombies, they are reintroducing uh, gobble gum. Um, in my opinion, they really should like... They're obviously going to bring back Perkaholic. And they're obviously going to make it so you can buy um, Perkaholics with actual fucking money. Because it's COD. And also, I really do hope that they bring out new gobble gum that are good but not too good not op because some of the op gobble gum broke the game uh in bo3 i think i may be wrong about that uh because i haven't played bo3 in a while if you guys want me to play some black ops call of Duty black ops 3 let me know because i will do that someone just messaged me on xbox i don't know who who don't hold on give me a second he said hello Okay, cool. That's my friend panda he just sent me a random message saying hello bro <laughs> he probably knows i'm mid recording right now <laughs> crazy why the hell did they have two turrets at Xfil? Wh why? Oh, that's right. We're talking about uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 6. If you get the Vault Edition, you get um, like skins, uh, like blueprints of guns and all the rest of it. I really do hope they bring Black back the Ballista in the DSR 50 from Black Ops 2. Like that'll be really good. You'll see me hitting the most disgusting clips. But if they were to ever bring those two guns back into COD or Call of Duty, they would be nerfing it or playing with it in for some extent. I think this guy's trying to get um, camos for a sniper. I haven't done that yet. I haven't gotten the sniper's gold yet. So I'm working my way like across from the ARs downwards. I'm up, I'm up to the shotguns at the moment. So yeah, I've got all the SMGs gold camo at the moment. And yes, I didn't record it because I just can't be stopped. Who the hell wants to see of me like, get it, getting all the ca golden, like, Camo is done, uh, and the Zerker scale is takes it just doesn't take that long either. I I reckon a lot of people shit on Call of Duty Black Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 because it's not the same as all the previous CODs. It's not round based. It's not a small map. There's no Easter eggs. Well, there is mini Easter eggs in the map to get free perks, but other than that, it's completely different. And I reckon people shit on. Modern Warfare 3 because it's different, you know? It's something that they're not used to, so they're bad at the game. I'm trying to talk as much as possible in this video, so I don't have to cut most of it out. Uh, oh my god, someone placed that a... Um, what's this called again? Place down in the comment section down below what this is bloody called, because I actually forgot what it's called. I think it's called a proximity mine or landmine. I have no idea. Oh, another thing. Oh my god, I just remembered something. Uh, you, if you... In Black Ops 2, if you threw this inside of a box, like, it was basically invisible, and when someone, like, walked over, over a box, they would die. It was freaking hilarious. Oh, every single time I did it, it, it was just so funny. There's a glitch in uh, Modern Warfare 3, well, there's multiple glitches. If you enter Ether Nest and exit it, and someone cl and someone else clears it on the enemy team, it also says that you cleared the Ether Nest as well, because I didn't even have to go near Ether Nest, like, before this game, like I, I ran past it, and I got the like a calling card for clearing it. Even I didn't even freaking clear. It's great. I hope to get all the shotguns done by tonight. Dalton's aspect, so I can do like a Zircon scale shotgun instead of just doing constant SMGs. And then I think this game's slightly lagging. I think maybe I don't know. This is fun, 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 fun. Get a gun in, run, run, run. I don't know. Uh, I was gonna do like a nursery rhyme with a gun on it. As you can tell, my brain is fried at the moment. I woke up like an hour ago and was like, I need to record a video. So I just hopped up, got to my Xbox, was like, yep, let's go. I didn't have any breakfast, I had nothing. I hope this video is entertaining. Because oh, I'm losing my brain cells. I need to blow my nose real quick. Oh, give me a second, guys. Oh, f that went everywhere. That's what she said. Oh my god. I, I can't believe I'm such a child. Oh my god. As, as a second, I'm sipping this coffee. <sighs> well, the doctor says one cup of coffee a day can't hurt.
Do you mind? Oh, that's some good coffee. You know, one of these times, I'm going to go tier 2. I'm going to go to tier 2 Xfil and show you guys on how hard that is. But it's not hard for me because I'm a pro gamer. Wink, wink. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm not a pro gamer. I, I suck at this game. I'm like, I was top 100 in multiplayer uh, seasonal for like the first week. And then I just gave up with keeping that spot. Oh my, why is... What is the point of rocking missiles in tier 1? Oh my lord. A bit too much, don't you think, for tier 1? You would think, like, this type of setup would be used in tier 2 exfil. Like, with the turrets and all the rest of it. Ooh, insta-kill, let's go. Uh, let's kill some more zombies. I don't even know how I'm going to play do the thumbnail yet. I just literally jumped into this video, like, I need to make a video, I need to, like, you know, do that stuff. When you're burnt out of ideas, be like, a POV. I really wonder on what, like, bosses and what easter eggs they're gonna, like, introduce into BO6. Like, are they gonna be, like, long easter eggs? Are they gonna be short easter eggs? Are they gonna be easter eggs that just are really bloody hard or really easy? Are the zombie maps going to be, you know, open mapped or are they going to be, um, close quarters? I, I haven't even looked at the trailers yet because I want to be surprised, uh, on what they released in BO6. I only know that they bring gobble guns because I brought the Call of Duty Vault Edition, uh, when it came out. Yes, I pre-ordered the game. I will be playing it on release, so if you guys want me, want to see that, I will be doing a video on that. I also do a live stream, some, and post that on YouTube. Pretty cool, C cool new experience uh, that I think everyone would love and like. Um, that's what that's what I think. just let you know, guys. Know that it's my birthday on Friday. I think it was. I have no idea, but it's this week. My birthday's this week. I'm turning 19. How good? Yes, I'm turning 19. I know. The I'm getting old. Becoming an old man. It would be really cool if I do a collab with like a zombies creator. That'd be pretty dope. I would really like that. Be very fun. Hey, do you want a hug? Do you want a hug? Stop resisting. Give me a hug. God damn it. I. Yeah, giving that guy a hug. Okay, cool. You don't give me a hug? Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> that man just vaporized himself. He really didn't want to give me a hug. I reckon my intros are so basic. Like, they, they have no juice whatsoever. But, you know, that's how what... An intro isn't supposed to be really long and tedious. An intro is supposed to be short and simple, so like the viewer gets to see like the actual gameplay. That's what I think. That's why my intros are really short. Like I, all I say is, "Hey, what's up, guys? We're doing this," and then I just get basically right into it, you know. But with uh, some of my videos, I usually do a pretty long intro. It, if it's with something I've never done before, I usually do a long intro. I don't even know if I've gotten circumstance yet. Can this guy like stop spamming <coughs> rockets? Jesus Christ! Get it! The trigger happy. Oh yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We're done, we're done, we're done. Let's go, we did it. Alright. And I will see you guys in the firing range. Alright, so this is what the Harry looks like. Mm-hmm, looking pretty dope. Oh my god, so it has a long animation. Actually, it's not even that long. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to sub sub uh. It can't even say subscribe, right? Subscribe, like, and comment, because uh, there's a lot more content coming, and you might miss it. I don't know. I don't even know how to edit this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.